Hi guys and girls, uh, this is Todd again. Uh, we're going to get started uh, weathering up Marcel's car for uh, the free weathering job that he got. And so uh, I'm going to walk you through some of the steps that I am taking to, to do that. So uh, we'll get started here in just a second. Thanks. Okay, we're back. And uh, where I'm going to get started on this car is um, going to do the bottom of the car first. And uh, I've already gone ahead and got it started on the trucks. And uh, if you want to see a, the video on how I do my trucks, go over and uh, take a look at my freight car truck weathering videos on YouTube and that's pretty much what I did to, to get these guys uh, fixed up and so uh, from here we'll move on to the under frame of the car uh, before we go there though I want to talk about uh, uh, a product that I picked up uh, and I really like it this is um, some stuff called Vallejo uh, wash and uh, it's a pale gray color um, and it's it's really pretty cool I tried it out on some some trucks um, on some different cars and I think they turned out really good um, this N scale car I, I tried that out on the trucks on this N scale car I hope you can see that but it kinda gave it a a really nice um, dusty kinda look and uh, for cars that haul cement or something like that and uh, I did that on there and uh, I have another example here on an HO car that I did so kind of might be able to see it just a little bit better but that's that's the HO one and uh, it kind of comes out sort of a dusty gray color and uh, it's kind of neat I, I kind of like it it's uh, for the this is on a box car but if you were gonna if you're gonna put this on uh, like a cement hopper or something that uh, uh, like a potash hopper cement hopper anything that that kind of would get that kind of a dust color to it turns out pretty good so uh, anyways um, I want to show you how I'm I'm uh, going to do this frame here. So uh, we're going to get my weathering box over here and uh, slide that over to where you can see it. And uh, what I'm going to use is I'm going to use some of these this uh, pan pastel, and uh, this is called. Payne's, let's see if I can see that there. This is called Payne's Gray Tint, which means, tint means that it's light. And um, I got this from NB Klein, and it was about, oh, six dollars, I think, for this tin. But I'm going to tell you, you don't need a lot of this stuff uh, when, you, when you do. Uh, weathering on the bottom of anything or anything for that matter uh, I use it for a lot of different stuff so anyway got my my makeup brush here again this is a professional eyeshadow brush hey hey how about that so what I do is I, I get a little bit of that gray on the brush you can see that there and uh, then I start just putting it on just kind of scrubbing it on everywhere and uh, keep going back to it just you know keep scrubbing away and basically this is the what this does is just kind of simulates the fading of the black under frames really turns out nice on uh, Atherin cars because Atherin really uses a dark black color I mean this is sort of a this is sort of a gray already, this frame on this thing, but it really makes it light, lightens it up. I think you can see that. Let's 
get it laid down here a bit so you can see it. And then, uh, like I say, just kind of come along and rub it and scrub it in place. And it doesn't take very much. Just kind of come back and you can see how that's lightening the, the color up there. And that's kind of what we want. And uh, then I'll I do this over this box and that kind of helps reclaim any of this stuff if it falls down in there. So just kind of, let's say I just got some noisy trucks outside here. Anyway, tree trimmers or lawnmowers or something going out there. Anyway, so I just keep doing this and lightening this thing up. And then just kind of rub it around here like so. And, uh, had that window open. Man, those guys are noisy out there. Anyway, keep, uh, doing that. Now when you get a little bit of that on there, off camera there, then, uh, I'll go ahead and just spray this with, uh, my fixative. I am wearing a rubber glove, by the way, so let's go ahead and spray this with my fixative. I'll let that set for a minute. We'll come right back. Okay, and now that the fixative's dry, I am uh, going to add in a little bit of this uh, brown chalk. It's uh, kind of a umber color. I think they call it natural umber. And uh, so let's go ahead and put this kind of around the bolster to simulate the dirt that kicks up from the wheels and different stuff like that. Okay, just around the ends of the car, just like this. Put some of that in there. Get a little bit of that in there, you can see. Turn around the other end here. Do the same thing. Take a little bit of that. That is, uh, this stuff is a Vallejo pigment that you can get in one of their sets. And uh, I really like it. You can do a lot of different stuff with it. I put that in there, just like that. The wheels do have a tendency to kick up a lot of dirt and grime from the road. So we do that. And, uh, excuse me, whoa, what a fly in there. Let me uh, seal this again, and I'll be right back. Okay, now the next thing I do is I get a little bit of rust colored chalk and an orangey colored rust chalk and I put that on the coupler tiny bit on the coupler box as well just kind of right like that get the sides this side a bit on the underside you can't see it a bit on the underside and the other side too. Same deal there. Just get some of that on the coupler on the top the side. This looks like it takes a long time, but it's because I'm video on this. But it doesn't take this long really. Yeah, a bit on the bottom there. So okay. Pretty much how I do the bottom end first. So uh, we'll give that another spritz and we'll come right back. Okay, we're back. So while we were away, I went ahead and put the trucks on it. And uh, this is pretty much ready to go. 
that are weathered couplers on either end. And uh, so we'll come back in a little bit and get started on the body. Okay, now we're going to move on to the body of the car. And uh, what I like to do first before I start weathering the sides of the car and the top, the roof of the car, is I like to go over the car with an alcohol wipe. And what that does is that um, takes any fingerprints that you might have left on the car by handling it and uh, it kind of washes them off there so that uh, the uh, chalk won't stick to those and believe me I've had that happen quite a few times so um, so what we're going to do I'm out of the camera zone here again let me readjust my camera here just a, just a little bit you what I'm going to do here. I've got my paints gray again and uh, we're just going to take the, the car side and uh, I'm just going to apply some of this paints gray right to the side of the car. I'm just going to start going down like this. Scrubbing it on a little bit here and there. What this is doing is this is fading the, the paint. That's what we want to do is fade the paint. So we're just going to get this pretty much all over the side of the car. And uh, I have a tendency to to want to go up and down with this, not necessarily side to side. But where you start at the top here, sometimes it gets kind of heavy. And so I'll go ahead and, and kind of rub that a little bit there. And then down the side of the car. But you'll find that if you don't wipe this down with an alcohol wipe, then you're going to have all kinds of fingerprints and everything that's going to show up in this. You need to kind of do that first. I'm not putting very much pressure on there because I don't want to loosen up any of the parts that I've applied on there. Okay, so, so you might be able to see this a little better there. Just keep going with it. it looks like I'm getting a lot on there, but just keep scrubbing it. Just keep scrubbing it. It'll be fine. <clears throat> Say just do the sides of the car and kind of come down with it. ends of the car. I won't do this on the roof. I've got another treatment I'll use on the roof. So I'm going to keep doing that and I'll be right back and show you the finished product. Alrighty. Here's pretty much where we are right now with the car. We have uh, the paints gray on here. Just kind of toned down the, the green and uh, on both sides. And that's kind of what we were trying to achieve there with it. So uh, on the ends of the car, um, I kind of went side to side with the, the brush to get it into the little nooks and crannies and things in there. So, uh, so that's where we're sitting right now. Now what I like to do is um, come back and do a little streaking effects with some dark chalk. And so... Uh, some of, I have some of this 
in the uh, box here. And we'll show you how I do a little bit of that. So uh, this stuff that I've accumulated in here is the pretty much what I'm going to be working with. And, uh, and then I'll come down the side of the car just a tiny bit here. And I'll just throw some of that on there. And these ribs, just like that. Uh, it's kind of not a lot, but just put that back in there so you can see it. And that just kind of simulates where the, the grit and grime kind of reaccumulates back on the car, see? And then we'll do that on this side as well. This side of the door there, just a little bit. Dragging that down the side of the car makes that look pretty neat, doesn't it? And then we get a little bit on there. And Come back and seal this. Really good. Just kind of drag it down the side of the car there. I have this little brush that I picked up. It's for doing eyeshadow, but it makes a really good. I use this brush a lot for end scale too, and uh, it comes out looking really neat. Okay, so that's pretty much putting zebra stripes on the side of the car there that's pretty much what you're doing and uh, back over the gray a little bit so I'll get the other side done and seal it up and I'll come back and show you what I'm doing okay here's where we are so far um, I took and sealed this off while I was at it I went ahead and put some brown on the ends of the car to represent the dirt that gets kicked up by the, the wheels there and so uh, a few more stripes on this side of the car same thing on the other on the brake wheel end okay and we're ready to move on to the next uh, phase of this which I'm going to be adding the rusting and stuff to the roof and also to the sides of the car a little bit more to the sides of the car and this is the stuff I'm going to be using for that so this is called uh, rust streaks it's called uh, it's by that AK interactive outfit and uh, what this really is is this is uh, oil-based paint that's mixed with uh, some turpentine and uh, the nice thing I like about it is that uh, it's already mixed and you don't have to mess with it so you can take and mix your own of course that's always a possibility but uh, I like this stuff because it's pre-mixed and it pretty much ready to go right out of the bottle. So whichever you prefer, this is about a, this bottle will cost you about six bucks, and it'll probably uh, last a few freight cars. It'll probably last maybe a couple of, you know, maybe 20 or 30 freight cars before you run out. But uh, you can do just the same thing with oil paint and thinner. It's just that this has got the right consistency mixed to it and so you don't have to fool around with that. So I'm going to go ahead and do the roof and uh, do the sides of the car and then I'll come back and show you what that looks like. Okay, I'm back. And uh, we got the rust effects on the roof and uh, put a little bit on the sides of the car here. I don't know well you can see that or not, but uh, because this is oil base, it's got to dry a little bit, so where I can put some sealer on there, and um, and I will be uh, putting on some graffiti that Mar Marcel asked me to put some graffiti on there, so I'll do that. Uh, anyway, this is the brush that I use to apply the rust effects uh, to the roof, and it you can see it's pretty thin. It's just you know. But it, these are really nice rust effects on there because it's not that heavy and it really doesn't, you know, clog up and uh, show you, you know, get a lot of on the on the car. But you can move it around afterwards, see, a little bit. It just 
fix that corner up right there and uh, so it, it's it's kind of movable for a while so you want to let it dry really good and then I'll take and seal it down with my uh, sealer my matte finish and then wherever I go to put the graffiti on there I'll, I'll put a little gloss coat over that and I use decals because it just takes too long to paint the stuff on there so I'll, but I have some some pretty cool decals it's actually uh, some graffiti that I made uh, using custom decals and so um, I'll go ahead and use some of those and and uh, make it pretty cool anyway well appreciate you guys watching this um, a lot of different techniques every car seems to get weathered a different way by me um, I don't like to weather things the same way twice um, I'm kind of finding out through this that it's a bit difficult to to video all these processes on here so um, I may end up just doing small videos to show you guys um, the little techniques and what have you but we'll have to see how that goes but um, anyway this is pretty much uh, where I'm going to end this um, I'll sh I would show you the the uh, graffiti but I want that to be a surprise and and uh, Marcel can make a little video when he gets the car and show you what I decided to put for graffiti on here for him so uh, that's pretty much it um, I'll probably take a still or two and when the car is finished and uh, put it at the end here um, I don't know whether I'll do that with the graffiti or without that's I'm just gonna try and tease you here I think but anyway thanks for watching this uh, really appreciate it uh, hope you hope you enjoy the car Marcel I enjoyed doing it for you and uh, we'll uh, catch you on the on the radio, as Big Bell says. So, all right, we'll be out for now.